the team from, from Belgium, Belgium. Thomas Peters. One of the three tournament favourites. Peters, who won the opening Rolex Series event of the season in Abu Dhabi, has been in good form. Knows this course well, comes here, practices and plays. He says he enjoys playing the course, he said it's good fun. And if you are joining us for the first time, you're going to enjoy seeing the challenge of Bernardus as well. Really was a sawn off follow through, wasn't it? A proper wind shot that from Peters and well executed. I tell you, these greens are bang on. Bang on to hold putts this week. They're perfect. They're not too quick, so they're never going to get away from you. It's certainly a, a good four to put on the scorecard today, the first, with the wind where it is. It's a wonderful golf swing, and it all starts with great posture. He's a big lad, six foot three, six foot four, I'm guessing. And you know what, he looks so comfy. Pete Cowan, who was his longtime coach, describes it as one of the best moves he's ever seen in the game of golf. Is he going to use the backstop? Will it come down from there? I think it will. Yep. It's exactly how he saw it. And he played it beautifully. He's got a great touch. Thomas Peters for his birdie at the third. Nicely done, sir. He's off and running. Par par birdie start. And the Belgian moves it to four under. That's one, one eight. Reasonably clean lie, but just needs to be aggressive with this. Howling off the right, this breeze. A couple of clubs in too. Super steep on the back of the ball, punching it forwards. Oh, it was such a hard shot to get the right contact. Done the right thing though, he can putt that, he can pitch and run it, he can even chip it. Looking down on Thomas Peters, well he's chosen to get the lofted club out over the back of the fourth. Oh, that's an absolute beauty. What a great view that was. Oh. Oh. That was fantastic camera view from behind it. Oh, great five that in the end. Never, never hit the fairway all the way down that hole. That's a, that's a mistake because that bunker shot is hard from that front bunker. Uh, and that's why guys, you know, you hit a wedge from the middle of the fair, but if it just mids just the wind or it just drops a little bit, you come up short. Um, tries to run it up a little bit there, but oh yeah, that was, that was a tough one to get all the way up to the back plateau. Drop shot for Peters. No one's got up and down from that front bunker. You can see why with that pin position up on the little shelf. <coughs> on the right, let's stay, stay, stay. I don't know whether he can get anything into the back of that. Depends on that big reed that's there. Yep. Now, there's I'm always that, that, yeah, Anthony, but there's always, he had that sort of read there as well that was uh, just niggling him on the takeaway, and the tendency is always to hit it a little bit harder, isn't it, in those situations. This is tricky, very tricky. That's 
an incredibly good shot. A drop shot here at the eighth, the par three, just one gone. Good up and down from the back of the green in the end. Peters from 108, second shot. See the difference that makes. Just missed the fairway. And just don't any stop. And I love the way they've designed the rough round here. No maintenance to it at all. Peters at the ninth for his part. He's just got a little bit disgruntled with himself, Peters, over the last few holes. A couple of loose shots. Hopefully tapping for just the one shot gone. If he does, he'll be back to minus one, which he is. And that's three shots gone in the last five holes for Peters. Four under to minus one. They're trying hard to take on the golf course, but it's such a good design, it's so difficult to do so. Well, oh, oh. How's it? Good to move. We can try and chase this up. It's pretty narrow the angle. It will have 50 or 60 a run if it can stay on top. Oh, he's got a beautiful little kick there. Quite an easy putt as well he's got there for the Eagle, so that could really start a, a mini comeback. It's right to left, but not much. Gently down the hill, so wonderful chance. You're absolutely right. It's just very gently right to left, and he didn't get it setting off down the right side. He set it off dead straight. Bunker down the right, the only real issue at 15. Hard left to right and helping the Peters driver for a strong finish. Testing that left side here. <coughs> Back to Peters, his second shot here at the 15th. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, lucky. It hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> Peter's at the 17th from 179 yards. Yeah, that's a good shot. Face up, hold the line, Peters. Yeah. 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 You can still read it well, Anthony. You never lose it, Richard, you no. know that. Back to the team, Thomas Peters. And down breeze, Tom, trying to catch that down slope. Make it into a short to medium par four. Yes, yes. Here we go. They're off, they're running. That's going to be no more than an eight or a nine iron either. Similar sort of thing for Peters, 192. This is much, much easier on this angle. We can just pop it down the right and just let the wind drift it in. Well, that's not his best iron shot. release away on you it's just amazing pieces how he is fearless we saw it earlier in the day when he played a lob shot off the hard pan played it beautifully he's got such a variety of shots and he sees them so well nine under par is leading the way now this will get him in after 36 holes at four under excellent birdie birdie finish for the belgium who plays some practices here at Bernardus Golf. So an under par, another under par round for him. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.